Hey guys, Sarah here, a little cruise here. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be opening our Lola Beauty Box for March 2019. Uh, first, let me tell you a little bit about this box. It is $21 a month. You get four to five full-sized beauty products valued at $70 or more. And then you can also earn points uh, for reviewing the products and then earn more free stuff. This isn't my favorite box, honestly. I feel like it's kind of declined. But let's just go ahead and see what we got in here this month. So when you open it up, it looks just like this. And that's interesting. Okay, so there used to be a card in here that would tell you everything that you're getting and the values of everything, but it seems like they're kind of going the way of yes, oh yes, and now there's nothing in here. So I don't know the values of everything. Uh, but I will research it and I will put it in the description box down below and I will let you know the values of everything and whether it's a good value or not. Okay, so I will say this is the first month. I'm not seeing it in here. I didn't get that stupid Lunatic Cosmetics orange lipstick. So that's good. I have three of them. I think that's plenty. Uh, but I am seeing a repeat and I feel like I had to have gotten this in a Lola box, but I could be wrong. But this is from Zhang Toy. I think that's how you say that. And it's like a eyeshadow palette, I think. Okay, so yeah, I definitely already own this. That's what it looks like. Um, if I remember correctly, it does not swatch well. And I think it's way overpriced from what I remember from when I got it before. Um, but yeah. This will be going into a giveaway as I already have it. It does say it's cruelty free on the back though, so that is good. There's that. Okay, the next thing I'm seeing I also already own, and I don't know if it's from this box or not, but this is the Wander Beauty Wanderous Dust to Dawn Blush and Highlighter Palette. Um, I actually do enjoy this a lot. It is cruelty free. Um, I can go grab the one I have so that way we can, I can swatch it for you and show you. So I actually went ahead and grabbed the Zang Toy palette that I own too, and I can tell that it was from a Lola box because it, I don't know if you can see that blush on the back there, but I don't know if you remember when I got um, the box, it had like the blush all over the thing. It must have been from this. So um, I can go ahead and just swatch this for you. There's the colors on my hand, so they do look pretty pigmented. So there they are. They are pigmented, they're a little patchy. Um, I don't see how you can do a look with this palette. Like the colors just, they just don't go together in my opinion, but maybe I'm just not talented enough. But so there's that. And let me show you the Wander Beauty thing, which is cruelty free. So there's what it looks like. You can tell I've used it a little bit. It is a little bit powdery, but it is very, very pretty. So there they are. I don't know why I used my thumb. There's the highlighter and then the two blushes. So there's those on my hand. So they're very pretty. I like this palette a lot. Uh, the one I just got though definitely will be going into a giveaway as well as the other uh, eye palette. The next thing I am pulling out is from Jing Ai. Never heard of this brand. There's that. So this is, what is this? Velvet Shine Lip Jewel in the shade Champagne. Uh, it does say on the back, uh, cruelty free, so that's good. So this, I might actually use. So it's like this. It looks like it's gonna be a lip crayon, so yep, there it is, right there. I will go ahead and swatch it. I'm running out of swatching room. Oh, I like that color. So, it's right there. You can see it's got like a satin finish on it. It's just a, a nude color, so I definitely will use this. Nude lipsticks are my favorite, it's just my go-to. So not mad about that. Okay, so the next thing I'm pulling out is also from Wander Beauty. This is the Slide Liner Automatic Gel Eyeliner. There's that. I don't know if I've tried an eyeliner from them. Oh, it's in like a blue color, so let's see. Yeah, it doesn't say a color on the box that I can tell, but got this little part there that tells me it's blue and there's that so it's already coming out of the thing I am NOT a blue eyeliner kind of person but let's go ahead and give it a swatch 
maybe there will come an occasion where I will want to wear blue eyeliner. Okay, so there is. It is a, a dark blue. This is the sort of eyeliner I prefer. I prefer the twist up sort of automatic liners. So maybe I will enjoy that. It is dark enough that it's not like I could probably wear it and get away with it. And it's not like a light blue, if that makes sense. So uh, got that. Okay, let's see. The last thing I'm pulling out is from Measurable Difference, which I think they're cruelty free. I can't remember. Well, this is kind of interesting. So it's got, I've got what, five masks here, which is cool. Five is good. So there it is. It's a charcoal uh, hydrating face mask. But on the back, there's that. Like, there's no ingredients on that. Does anybody else find that weird? I just don't. I don't know how I feel about that. Do I look at ingredients all the time? No, but to me it's just weird that there's literally nothing on here telling me what's in these. What if I'm, I have an allergen or something? So that's a little bit interesting. Um, I do like face masks. I've not tried a charcoal sheet mask, so that's uh, interesting. It says infused with cucumber extract. So yeah, that's everything I got in here. I wish I could tell you uh, the value, but I can't because I took that away. I got one thing that I am going to use. I got a repeat again. I don't know how many times. Does it make you feel like they're going, like, going out of business or something? Like they keep sending stuff that we've gotten before. It just seems strange to me. But yeah, not super impressed with this. If I didn't have this already, I'd be excited about it. And the, I don't know, the fact that there's no card, like what, this is just all stuff that they wanted to get rid of and they just put random stuff in a box. I don't know. It's all very strange to me. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Am I just being too picky? I just think it's weird. Why do you, why do they change that? I just don't know. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this from me, more unboxings, all that good jazz, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right down there. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.